Alrighty. Alright. Hey guys, this is JPS back in Xander's Tangible. I can touch and poke him. Don't poke. Don't, oh, don't poke me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we are here playing some weird uh, one-off indie games that KT has stored away in their computer because they like being freaked out by their megalophobia. And the two games that we will be playing is The Rasher is here and you will be forcefully removed from your homes and then the other one, which we will say in that video. But this is one of my favorite indie games of all time. It's like a 23-minute long game. I've given you no context, except for the fact that it triggers my phobia really badly. This is basically a horror game to me, but essentially the premise of this is you're put in a situation, you have a time limit, follow the lights. Okay. So, just go for it. And enjoy the music, the music is very good. Alright, so... You you click, I... you click you click on oh you click okay. yeah that's why it goes boing. okay and then you can do shift to run cool takes a minute to pop in very old game yeah all right okay so turn around there's your time limit no up there there's your time limit oh so that is slowly moving towards you so follow the turn around. Uh, so there's the yeah there's okay. all there's lights so just follow the lights and enjoy the game. All right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you could run the first time I played this, so I uh, had to play through it again. <laughs> and I was just like, oh. The music in this game is very good. This guy, yeah. he specifically makes these games. I forget his name, but I, I follow him on Patreon. I don't subscribe to him. But I kind of want to do so I can download his other games and just sort of play through them. That'd be fun. Yeah. Had I, in full hideous fact, been drawn back to the free human world of 150 million years ago, in those dark, baffling days of the amnesia? Had my present body been the vehicle of a frightful, alien consciousness from Paleogean gulfs of time? Had I, as the captive mind of those shambling horrors, indeed known that accursed city of stone in its primordial Hadea, and wriggled down those familiar corridors in the lonesome shape of my captor? Were those tormenting dreams of more than twenty years ago the offspring of stark, monstrous memories? My name is Nathaniel Wingate Peasley, and those who recall the newspaper tales of a generation back, or the letters okay, in so it's a tiny hinge. Seven years mm -hmm. ago, will know who and what I am. The press was filled with the details of my strange amnesia in 1908 until 1913. It was on Thursday, May 14th, 1908, that the queer amnesia came. The thing was quite sudden. The Are you later starting to recognize the story? Glimmering visions I think of so. Yeah. Chaotic visions <laughs> that doesn't make it better. So unprecedented. Uh, uh, try to follow the color racing. you're going to. My head was aching, and I had a singular feeling. So I guess look around. Me. Someone else was trying to get possession of my thoughts. The collapse occurred around 10.20 a.m. I slumped down, unconscious, in my okay. chair, in a stupor from which no one could arouse me. Nor did my rightful faculties again look out upon the daylight of our normal world for five years, four months, and thirteen days. It is, of course, from others that I have learned what followed. Okay, that's blue. There it is. and my family were thoroughly frightened by the trend of my expression and language. It was clear that I had no remembrance of my identity and my past. 
though for some reason I seemed anxious to conceal this lack of knowledge. My eyes gazed strangely at the you person around stuff is starting to appear. my facial muscles mm -hmm. were altogether mm -hmm. unfamiliar. <laughs> Even my speech seemed awkward and foreign. I don't Maybe think I've ever done a yellow story before. And my mm. I've done the red, the blue, and the purple one. As if I or is this the purple story? I think this is purple. Okay, and this is the one I hadn't done before. Whilst the idiom seemed to include both scraps of curious anachronism and expressions of... Yeah, there's red, blue, yellow, and purple. Mm. I've never completed one of them. Huh. The essence was always the same. A person of keen thoughtfulness, seized with a strange secondary life, and leading for a greater or lesser period, an utterly alien existence typified at first by vocal and bodily awkwardness, and later by a wholesale acquisition of scientific, historic, artistic, and anthropological knowledge. An acquisition carried on with a feverish zest and with a wholly abnormal absorptive power. Then a sudden return of the rightful consciousness, intermittently plagued ever after with vague, unplaceable dreams, suggesting fragments of some hideous memory elaborately blotted out. Okay. <laughs> come now to the crucial and most difficult part of my narrative. All the more difficult because I cannot be quite certain of its reality. At times I feel uncomfortably sure that I was not dreaming or deluded. And it is this feeling, in a view of the stupendous implications which the objective truth of my experience would raise, which impels me to make this record. Primal myth and modern delusion join in their assumption that mankind is the only one, perhaps the least, of the highly evolved and dominant races of this planet's long and largely unknown career. Things of inconceivable shape, they implied, had reared towers to the sky and delved into every secret of nature before the first amphibian forebear of man had crawled out of the hot sea 300 million years ago. Some had come down from the stars, a few were as old as the cosmos itself, and others had arisen swiftly from terrene germs as far behind the first germs of our life cycle as those germs are behind ourselves. Spans of thousands of millions of years and linkages to other galaxies and universes were freely spoken of. Indeed, there was no such thing as time in its humanly accepted sense. But most of the tales and impressions concern a relatively late race of a queer and intricate shape, resembling no life form known to science, which had lived till only 50 million years before the advent of man. This, they indicated, was the greatest race of all, because it alone had conquered the secret of time. It had learned all things that ever were known, or ever would be known on the earth, through the power of its keener minds to project themselves into the past and future, <coughs> even through gulfs of millions of years, and study the lore of every age. From the accomplishments of this race arose all legends of prophets, including those Thanks, of game. Yeah. yeah. I think the lights are food knowledge. The great race chose from every era and life form such thoughts, arts, and processes as might suit its own nature and situation. Knowledge of the past, secured through a kind of mind casting outside the recognized. I'm pretty senses, sure it's pixelated elder futhark. In the future, in the latter what? case, the course of pixelated was elder futhark, the pattern the that the lights are in, probably projected so forward in time. <laughs> feeling its dim, extrasensory way until it approached the desired period. Then, after preliminary trials, it would seize on the best discoverable representative no, of the highest my weakness. life forms. It would enter the organism's brain and set up therein its own vibrations, while the displaced mind would strike back to the period of the displacer, remaining in the latter's body till the reverse process was set up. The projected mind, in the body of the organism of the future, but then pose as a member of the race whose outward form it wore, learning as quickly as possible all that could be learned from the chosen age and its massed information and techniques. Meanwhile, the displaced mind, thrown back to the displacer's agent body, 
will be drained of all its knowledge by trained questioners. The great race's members were immense, rugose cones ten feet high, and with head and other organs attached a foot thick, distensible limbs spreading from the apexes. They spoke by the click and scraping of huge paws or claws attached to the end of the two of their forelimbs, and they walked by the expansion and contraction of a viscous layer attached to their vast, ten-foot bases. When the captive's mind's amazement and resentment had worn off, and when, assuming that it had come from a body vastly different from the great races, it had lost its horror and unfamiliar temporary form, it was permitted to study its new environment and experience a wonder and wisdom approximating that of its displacer. Snatches of what I read. Snatches of what I read and wrote would linger in my memory. There were horrible annals of other worlds and other universes, and of stirrings of formless These life outside of all the universes. Annals. There were records of strange or of beings who peopled the world and forgotten the past. <laughs> frightful chronicles of grotesque bodied intelligences, which were people at millions of years after the death of the last. I don't think people know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> I learned. Even before my waking self had studied the parallel cases, where the old myths were not going to be passed the, the spring, uh, the entities around me were the world's turn around, greatest race, it gets worse. which had conquered time and sent exploring minds in every age. Keep too spooky, gay. I knew too that I had been snatched from my age, while another used my body in their own, and that a few of the other strange forms have similarly captured minds. I seemed to talk in some odd language of claw clickings with exiled intellects from every corner of the solar system. Yeah, every time you turn around, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. This one is in a little more tame. The red one has always been the worst one for me. It's up there. Yeah, I know. I've never done this one before, though. Because uh... it's the furthest one from you. <laughs> no, it's the blue one. Yeah. I the purple it... is over to the left. Is it? I thought it was behind us. Is it? Yeah, it's right what there. The... It's to say. Oh, it's getting closer. Ah. Are you stuck Why? on some geometry? Oh. I think you're stuck on something. Move back. There, there we go. Yeah, okay. You're stuck on something. After man, Why there would be the tall? mighty beetle civilization, the bodies of whose members the cream of the great it. race would seize when the monstrous doom overtook the elder world. Later, as the earth's span closed, the transferred minds would again migrate through time and space to another stopping place in the bodies of the bulbous vegetable entities of Mercury. But there would be races after them, clinging pathetically to the cold huh. planet and burrowing to its horror-filled core before the other end. I think the tallest one means you're done with that story. Like I said, I've never finished one of them. Just because I get confused. Uh. Oh. Oh, what? No! <laughs> uh. Why? The great race itself waxed well nigh omniscient and turned to the task of setting up exchanges with the minds of other planets. Okay, this is creepy. Mm -hmm. It sought likewise to fathom the past years and origins of the black, eon dead orb in far space, whence its own mental heritage had come. Oh, the mind of the great race was older than its bodily form. Yeah. We the can't go anywhere. Elder world I think we're stuck. Secrets. Oh no, it looks like a new world and species wherein they might have long life. Okay. And it sent their minds en masse oh. into that future race best adapted to housing. The cone shaped beings that peopled our Earth a billion years ago. And thus the great race came to be. While the myriad minds sent backwards were left to die in the horrors of strange shapes. 
they told you I'd never meet one before. <laughs> Yet would live through another Is there a recording timer saying how much we got left? This is 17 minutes. 17 minutes? I think it's 23 yeah. until it gets you, so... Uh, oh, there's another one? There's another one. Turn around! Oh, no! <laughs> Fucking hell, gay! <laughs> <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> I was perfectly fine until we got stuck in that maze. <laughs> Welcome to Elder Chores. <laughs> there it is. Warfare. Largely civil for the last few millennia, though sometimes waged against reptilian or octopodic invaders, or against the winged, star-headed old ones who centered in the Antarctic. It was usually infrequent, though infinitely devastating. An enormous army using camera-like weapons, which produced tremendous electric effects, was kept on hand for purposes seldom mentioned, but obviously connected with the ceaseless fear of the dark. Windowless elder ruins. I'm bearing it, I'm looking at the screen. The lowest subterranean levels. <laughs> According to these scraps of information, the basis of the fear is of a horrible elder race of half I thought the red one was the worst. This is space, pretty bad. Immeasurably distant universes. <laughs> and dominated the Earth and three other solar planets about 600 million years ago. It's just like, hey, you're gonna be inside the, the uh... So understand matter. The impending the type of consciousness and immediate perception differed widely from those of terrestrial organisms. They have the power of aerial motion, despite the absence of wings or any other visible means of levitation. Their minds were of such a texture that no exchange with them could be affected by the great race. When these things had come to Earth, they built mighty basalt cities of windowless towers and prayed horribly upon the beings they found. Thus, it was when the minds of the great race sped across the void. Yeah, but it's almost here. Yeah, it's coming. Known and disturbing and debatable elder Not the weed again. If you look down, you can make the wall go away. It's easy to subdue the predatory entities. Because it happens when you're looking at the thing. Yeah, so if you look down, for the most part, it will go away. It's kind of annoying. It's necessary, but it's a toy. Hideous <laughs> character in certain small and remote cities of the great race, and in some of the deserted elder cities which the great race had not people. Three in. minutes. Places where the I think it's twenty-three. Shield or guarded. The music's starting to pick up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The eruptions of the other things must have been shocking beyond all description, since they had permanently colored the psychology of the great race. Such was the fixed mood of horror that the very aspect of the creatures was left unmentioned. That was a purple no light was able to gain a clear hint of what they looked like. There were veiled suggestions of monstrous plasticity and of temporary lapses of visibility. Yeah, because that the column and the house are, are always the there. These are the only two things that are always there. there. <laughs> Singular whistling noises and colossal footprints made up of five circular toe marks seemed also to be associated with them. It was evident that the coming doom so desperately feared by the great race mm -hmm. was doomed that was one of the hills minds across the chasm of time strange bodies in the safe and future had to do with the final successful eruption of the elder beings. Mental projections down the ages had clearly foretold such a The great race had resolved that none who could escape it should face it. But the foray would be a matter of vengeance, rather than an attempt to reorder the other world. They knew from the planet's later history, for their projections showed the coming and going of such great races. I don't know. Like I said, I've never beaten one Indeed, before. Indeed, it was known that they would be quite dead in the time of the post-human beetle race, which the fleeing mind could just the ground. Oh, there it there is. is. Holy crap, that's long. Like I said, I've never beaten one before. I never managed to, because I tried to do, I think I tried to do the red one in my playthrough. Mm. And when I first started, I did the yellow one. 
because I was like, I'm scared. <laughs> I need to bail. I'll bail because I already know the story. Because <laughs> because when I watched um. Who is it that played it? I wish I could remember his name. He's a YouTuber I really like, though. But he did the yellow one, so I was just... <laughs> I knew this game would freak me out. Yeah. 22? Yeah. It might be 25. I know it's less than 30 minutes, though. Because my video is only, I think, like 29 minutes long. So... Okay. I don't know what else to talk about, viewers. I'm sorry. I'm just spooked by a big spooky thing. <laughs> See, now that we're not in the the black, I'm not and freaked out anymore. It's because you're a nature boy. You love your nature. I am a nature boy. Learn the universe's secrets, past and to come. Whoa. Read the annals of my own world for the metal cases of those Titan archives. Okay. I think others? you might have finished it. Those shocking yep. other things from just... mad winds and demon pipings. The truth around. lingering, lurking menace, waiting and slowly weakening in the black abysses, while varied shapes of life drag out their multi-millennial <laughs> courses on the planet's age rack surface? I do not know. If that abyss and what I held were real, there is no hope. And all too truly relies upon this world of man a mocking, incredible shadow out of time. But mercifully, there is no proof that these things are other than myth or dreams. It's up there! It's back in the thing! I'm not going inside there again. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can. No, you can, but I don't remember how we got out. Game, you can't do that. We got no flashlight. Or maybe it's behind it. Go, go behind it. Are you sprinting? Yeah, I'm oh, it's sprinting. Slow. Yeah, you're getting slowed down. Yeah. We'll finish this. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna do it. We'll finish this story. <laughs> we'll curse your big dean and pillars. It was there, I saw it. It was. <laughs> Unless that was just because they go up every time you hit them. Yeah, that, that wasn't true. Just going around it. Don't go back in there. We'll get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think it is in there. I'm gonna get you the big ugly fucker. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> Rapture me! Uh, <laughs> Rapture me! Alright. <laughs> and then it just ends. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> huh. Do you know which story that was? Because the only one I'm gonna know is Call of Cthulhu. It's not the Shun House, it's either the Shadow Out of Time or the Color Out of Space. I'm pretty sure it's the Shadow Out of Time, because it's, um, it's talking all about going from time to time and jumping. Yeah, because I don't, so. I don't, so... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that game. <laughs> I like how you and Blaze were like, eh, it's probably fine. I don't know what they're so scared about. I was like, well, go ahead and play it then, and you'll see why I'm scared. <laughs> yep. And the other one is much worse. But I think it would be pretty interesting to explain how I found out I have this particular version of megalophobia. Have you ever seen the, um, the Out of Bounds for Shadow of the Colossus? When people were learning about, like, all the different locations and going to different sections of the map? I know Dakota showed me at one point, or Michael. Do you remember any of it? No, because it okay. was it was when I was okay. on my first medical leave. I will I will have to show it to you then, and then after we and then we can play the next one because then we okay. can talk about it in the next video. Yay! Alrighty, I hope you all right. enjoyed that. That's a that's a nifty little one-off. I mean, you can't really get much else out of this game unless you want to play it again, but I, this is a game I recommend you play kind of once 
every now and then because it kind of loses its magic. Yeah, what did you think? Um, so it's a it's a cool concept. Uh, the guy who does this specifically, uh, Connor Sher, like he specifically makes walking simulators. Like he's not okay. ashamed of calling them that. And I don't think people should anymore. It's like I don't think it's a bad thing anymore. No. Considering everyone can have unity and everyone can make these nice little experiences. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a visual experience, is what I yeah. would call it. But yeah, it's the, he calls them walking sir. He makes a lot of other ones like this. Um, if you like Connor Sherlock, and if you like this game, please go get his other things. Um, the guy who did the soundtrack, I don't. I think it's the same guy. I'm not really entirely sure that the guy who does the music is. It's really good music too. It's been a while since I've looked into this, but. Yeah, like I said, I follow him on Patreon, and he does a lot of different things like this, and so it's really That's interesting cool. to try out the rest of them. Yeah. So yeah.